Great Tuesday evening. Hope you had a wonderful December 3rd in the Lord. Do you have holy amnesia? I know the Lord blocks so many negative experiences and mistakes um, where I just, you know, I, I can't even bring it back to remembrance. And I thank the Lord because I am not able to dwell on, oh my goodness, like missteps and mistakes and uh, misfortune. I, I, and I think about our superintendent, our former one here in Chicago, the police uh, superintendent, Eddie Johnson, where now it has been brought out that he was having drinks over and over uh, with this female and supposedly she might have been his driver. Yeah. And when I first heard that, I could hear this old school wisdom. My mom would quote this scripture a lot. First Thessalonians 5.22. Abstain from all appearance of evil. You don't want it to be named you know, in association with you, just steer clear. Even if, you know, that was just a friend, a sister, supposedly, like I said, it was his driver. I don't know why they were, you know, doing that, drinking. And it was after hours. And if you were his driver, how were you going to drive him home? And crazy. Okay. Missteps. And of course, he's saying that he did not deceive the mayor. Okay, just mess. Humble yourselves. We make mistakes, all of us, but we have to steer clear. When God tells us something, and I'm sure that there was an indication along the way in that path where the Lord was like, uh, Eddie, don't go there, or Eddie, mm -mm, go home. And a lot of times we just continue. And sometimes we want to like justify or perhaps argue with God. And this has something to do with the chapter tonight, Job the ninth chapter. And Job is saying, um, I know it is so of a truth, but how should man be just with God? Verse three, if he will contend with him, that means if he wants to argue with God, he cannot answer him one of a thousand. Why? Because God is wise in heart and mighty in strength. Who hath hardened himself against him and hath prospered? No one. That means who could oppose the Lord and win? Not one person. So you might as well obey because in verse five, it says, God removeth the mountains and they know not, which overturneth them in his anger. Meaning he can move the mountains without even the mountains or anyone knowing. And he topples them in his anger. So we need to humble ourselves. He, he can command the sun not to rise. Or remember when Joshua was in battle before, he commanded the sun to stand still. God is all powerful. So when he tells us something, let's just trust and obey, even though we might not understand it. Lean on him. And that's what I'm saying, because he knows his ways are best. Even though we might not see the whole unveiling of his will and the rationale, but let's just rely on his word. And another scripture that I can remember my mom would quote if I would stay out late and it would look wrong or something. She would say, don't let your good be evil spoken of. And that's right in line with that other scripture. Yeah, it's all about the wisdom of the Lord taking counsel and being humble enough so that you can still be teachable in your 50s, in your 60s. Why go your whole career and then at the end, there is a misstep. In Proverbs 3.13, we know it says, happy is the man or the woman that findeth wisdom and he or she that getteth understanding. It's, I'm telling you, it's more valuable than anything out here. Silver, gold, diamonds, I'm telling you. And when you, when you capture and 
when you uphold wisdom, then you're going to have the length of days, a wonderful retirement, a wonderful, you know, life. Length of days is in her right hand and in her left hand, riches and honor. So you'll get the pension. You'll get, you know, the blessings that the Lord have promised and way more in the tree of life in verse 18 to them that lay hold upon her. Happy again, joyful, merry, gladness is everyone that retaineth her. And you don't have to be ashamed and have scandals and, oh my goodness, and always have this agony in your heart. You will have peace forevermore. Don't you want that? Yeah. Let's listen to the counsel of the Lord. Let's not argue with him, but let's just be open to his instruction. And I'm saying from evil, run from it. Have a wonderful evening and uh, stay woke because the enemy is on all of our tracks. Good night.